efficacy for Sheik. I feel like it's it's an extremely good stage for her based on what I saw earlier. Like, yeah, it comes with disadvantages, of course, like a low ceiling. But um, as we talked about, you know, neutral game is king. And having those one frame nils off of your short hop is huge. Okay, I'm really liking Ginger's movement so far, though. We talked a lot about j -Mook, but Ginger's looking quick on the platforms, too, himself. I mean, this guy learned how to wave dash when he was um, seven, <laughs> so he's had, like, two decades to master. Uh, he's had, like, two decades to master all these other areas of the game. I think we're all Sign screwed. Off the top? Yeah, I think we're all screwed, Zane, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time. It's just exponential growth for him. Yeah. And I mean, once him and Bones start talking again, once the sibling rivalry gets reenacted, <laughs> Dude, I love the run up double shine that he did. Um, you know, with, with Falco, the interesting thing is that if a shine hits you, you don't even necessarily need to wave dash out of it for, for it to lead into a big conversion. Um, mm -hmm. So that running double shine is just very uh, dangerous for j -Mook to challenge. And so... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, such patience from j -Mook. He knows it's it's hard for Falco to get out of the corner against a Sheik like that. It's really scary because you typically want to jump. One of Falco's best escape options is, you know, his gigantic full hop, but she can just slap you out of it. It's really, it's it's intimidating. Dude, J-Move's looking like a pinball right now. <laughs> you saw how many you saw how many downers Ginger yeah. hit him with repeatedly. Oh, but he oh. finds it finds a grab, forward airs him off the platform, says get down here, and uh, oh, but Ginger breaks out just slightly off from J-Move. Yep, Ginger's gonna grab the ledge. This is a bad spot for Sheik. Oh, I'm surprised J-Mook didn't turn around with needles while falling. He had to up be onto stage there because he wasn't facing the ledge, and uh, that did not work out for him. Ginger with some really smart slide-offs right there. Uh, J-Mook knew he was going to get a slide-off. That's why he went for that dash attack, but he was just like a pixel off, so Ginger did make it back on stage. <gasps> now, J-Mook choosing up. Oh, J-Mook with so many advanced options in a row. First, he DI trapped him with a forward air, make him, uh -huh. made, him do, made him do terrible DI. Then uh -huh. he did grounded needles. Then he did a diagonal needle, all to finish off that stock. That was so yeah. good. That was so good. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see, obviously, these triplat stages can be really good for Sheik because she can throw out that needle triangle, and that's been getting Jamie a good amount of mileage, but what I like from Ginger is that when he gets hit by needles, he sort of just dashes away, treating it like a Falco laser in some ways, almost. Oh, Shine Backer, I love it. I actually thought he was going to do Shine Waveland. He says, no, dude, I know I know way better than you do, and that was definitely the best choice. Yeah, well, in Shine Back Air, there beats the option to Omsitek at all. You just don't get to have that option if you do the Shine Back Air, so real oh, smart well no, the moment that the moment that you shine, um, you you can't ASDI down at all. Shine can never be ASDI down. No, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it beats Omsitek. Like you can't Omsitek it. Oh yeah, Falco should never do like uh, uh, like go straight go straight for back air. Yeah, yeah, never do that. Yeah, yeah. I think every Falco knows that at this point. You'd be and surprised. I, <laughs> I love that Ginger uh, did not DI off the platform because you already know what was coming if uh, if he went off. We were going to see a quick drop zone forward air, and he would have lost his stock. So slight the eye was um, a very intelligent choice from him. And now he does the regular getup. He knows he's above 100%. So he knows that regular getup is going to start is going to take longer to complete. So yeah. that's why he started. He initiated it earlier, and that set up for the remainder of the edge guard. Uh, yep. we're very well done by Ginger. Yeah, the, the, the typical rule of thumb with Sheik is that you, regular getup is really good in general, but if you're below 100%, you do it when the poof is ending to beat her grabbing ledge, and if you're above 100%, you do it as she's starting to poof to beat both options. Gotta be a little more preemptive with it, but you can absolutely adjust it to make it work. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we go to Dreamland. Uh, so this is where, like I said before when we were talking about J-Move sets, she does, she has platform warp stuff here. It's harder to do on than on a stage like Pokemon, but she still has it, so we'll see. With full hop, of course. Yeah, full hop needles will, will get you some interesting stuff. Yeah, like I said, I, re I really think that any stage where she has that option available has to be reevaluated. Like, I, I don't think that Stadium can be written off as a bad Sheik stage. Um, not if the Sheik knows how to incorporate that, because having a one frame platform land is just so powerful. Okay, good stuff, dream it. Yeah, cleanly done, calls out that Ginger's gonna go for the ledge. Yeah, and even if he doesn't, being on the ledge there against Falco is just such a great position for Sheik. Absolutely. Ooh, I like Ginger going to the side platform when J-Mook is on ledge. 
Oh, and I like that too. Ginger has done so many forms of counterplay to Omsa teching, which I'm sure Jmook has, because every Sheik has it these days. Uh, wow, great side off by Ginger too. Dude, <gasps> oh, oh my fucking oh! god. Oh my god, who is this guy? The only thing is that I wish he had fared instead of daring him, but I, I get it. Yeah, I agree, but he's still he's still keeping this going. Ginger's on a roller coaster to hell right now. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> yeah, and there were a lot of advanced interactions that stock. Like when Jmu walked off the right platform and landed with some aerial, I don't remember which one, he spaced it perfectly around Ginger's crouch cancel shine mm -hmm. and then got like another forward tilt off of that. So really um good matchup awareness for sure. I see, I see pivot forward tilts from Jmook. I wonder if that was intentional or not. I feel like it had to have been, knowing <laughs> how technical he is. Yeah, everything Jmook does. Oh, that was so good, though. That that shine backer. That's exactly how Ginger closed out game uh, game one. Closed well, out and, one of those and, early stocks. And you can see, even if the Falcos know about shine down air, Jmook was DIing for Omsa Tech there. He was holding hard down. He, he was trying to DI for that 100%. No, but here's the thing, against Falco, there's really no point because Shine can never be, uh, you can never hug the floor against Shine. So it's I mean, I, like... I, I agree with you, Aziz, but it doesn't change the fact oh, that he was that doing the DI. <laughs> All right, but that needle just changed the entire flow of this match because um, G uh, Ginger had all the uh, tempo in his back pocket and now uh, the tables have turned. Yeah. Oh, Jmook messes up a little bit of platform movement and then weird DI against the forward air. Yep, yeah. and Ginger, at this point everybody knows, you know, you just, you just make him tech roll, hit him again. Yep. Sec second hit will kill him. Oh, tech chase opportunity for Jmook. He's been really good with them. Nice double jabs. Yeah, Sheik's got some of the weakest jabs in the game, so that tech chase, uh, that jab reset, sorry, can go to really uh, high percents. Gets it started again. Yeah, he's just going to do the crouch cancel now because now Ginger's at a percent where he could pop up out of the jab reset. That's the advanced stuff. Yep, and Jmook knew... Oh, that, that, that needle almost finished this game. Oh, it was stale? Or it was just the weird off the ground thing with the F-tilt? It was... Oh stale. my god. Pristine. That wave dash back down tilt from Jmook was pristine. Bro... Is his name Jmook or Jay Z? <laughs> like I think I I don't know who this man is at this point. Cause uh, that was a beautiful dynasty to fin off, finish off game two and tie things up. Damn, this is a banger of a set already. When you were asking a question like a second ago about the uh, forward tilt that um gave J that gave um yeah, Ginger, Ginger the, no, the weird. Fun. A weird knock up that's gonna happen whenever Sheik's forward tilt is stale. That because was stale, it, right? That's what I thought. Because the game checks to see if the attack did seven percent or more, and yeah. um, if the attack does less than that, then uh, it works differently. Yeah, it's actually something that I'm really used to seeing as a Falco player because you get it a lot with uh, stale Falco shine if you're going for tech chase. Oh, fuck another dude, dynasty Jay back to back. Yo, the blueprint two, bro. Blue, blueprint. Last game was the blueprint one. <laughs> now we're witnessing the blue, the blueprint two. Ooh, Ginger's got his own laser resets though. This is nice. You know, I love seeing Sheik on FD. I, it's obviously a real hard stage for her, but the combo opportunities she has sometimes are pretty sick. Zane, it's just occurring to me that Jmook might beat Ginger. <laughs> Well, yeah, Jmook might win the tournament. What the? Reverse jab into forward tilt the other way? What was that? I actually Wait, don't. What? I actually don't even know. I won't even know what to say if Jmook wins this tournament. <laughs> How did... Uh, what was that jab into forward tilt the other way? That must be something he's done before. He was so ready for it. Mm-hmm. Dude, he knew that that would clank. Like, he knew that the first hit of the up tilt would clank, and then he was first to act. He actually, okay. like, outsmarted Ginger okay. there, you know? Okay, Ginger's back, though. Ginger's back. There. Oh, no, oh. yeah, you can't mess that, you can't mess that up. Ah, Jamie, please. Oh, man. <laughs> you're, you're screwed there. Tech roll can't save you. Yeah. That's that's lucky for Ginger after he messed up that shine stall. Oh, that, that nair was insane actually almost kept it going. Jamie tries to mix up his DI with the early down smash, trying to end it early. Good needle. Wow, he weaves through both <laughs> through of the, the lasers. Laser. Yeah, that like was the, so sick. Looking like the Matrix right now. Yeah, Neo like, is like... here in the building. Put the tag on. <laughs> we never thought we'd say the Sheik player was Neo, but there you go. 
Yeah, okay. nice from Ginger. Oh, oh JJ Mook sneaks in. Yeah, he finishes it off. See, these little interactions matter so much. Gotta give it your all in this game, because just getting that edge guard opportunity off that dash attack is what closed out the stock. Really intelligent spot dodge from Ginger, actually, recognizing that the dare was spaced so he couldn't get a follow up, and he spot dodges out of the SDI grab attempt from J Mook. Yeah, now J Mook right here is gonna look for a grab, you already know. Mm hmm. Oh, that was really oh. nice attempt from Ginger. Ginger making it so hard for J Mook to approach right now. Nice run up shine grab. Oh, here we go. Okay, he shields the getup attack. He can't crouch cancel because oh he's at such a high God. percent, but he doesn't need it right now. He's gonna just shield the getup attack instead. This is so much percent. Dash attack, dash attack again. No dynasty, oh. Can he get led? He makes it yes. back, he makes it back, yes. Oh. Okay, he has his jump, he can get on stage. Yes, yeah. he's, he's, he's oh. done, dude. He's living, he's still living, but it's such a bad position for Sheik. No, oh that's my it. god, and Zane, I think he could have blueprint three'd him. Yeah, I agree. Where was the up smash, right? Where was the up smash? Like this dude released two albums and then the third one just got postponed. Oh, oh man. Dude, he he could have he could have dynasty him again for sure. <sighs> Damn, I, I really hope I mean I hope that doesn't come back to bite him. Like no bias, but uh J Mook winning this tournament would be mind blowing. We'll see. We'll see. That was, that was, uh, Ginger managed to, I feel like Ginger's punish game was really what was keeping him online there, though. He, he's so procedural with these edge guards, too, you know? Like, he's beaten ASDI down Omsitech six different ways now. Just shown that, yeah, it's a nice trick you got, but I've got the counterplay to it. Well, Falco's got a lot of counterplay to ASDI yeah. down in general. You know, as we've mentioned, you can't ASDI down the shine, which is like his, uh, main combo starter. Jamuk sneaks in with the grab. The way that he's getting these grabs off Ginger's landings is really impressive. I, I mean, at the, in the last one, we saw him get it out of a power shield into grab on landing, but just coming off the platforms too, he's been really intelligent in finding those. I mean, landing is like a way more vulnerable position than a lot of players recognize. Like even regular landing, oh, by the way, beautiful Nair. This should be a stock. Yeah. <laughs> um, landing, even if you don't land with an aerial attack, it's still four frames of lag. Like you, you don't let you don't let people get away with that for free. Yo, what do you think about Jmook counterpicking Yoshi's? Hmm. I don't think I know enough about it about it to say. Yeah, especially because he has so many unique options. That was such a smart forward tilt from Ginger on the frames that Jmook is in the grab animation. Great DI from Jamu. I think that forward air actually would have killed off the top blast zone. I mean, he still dies just because Sheik's recovery is pretty horrible versus uh, Spacey's, honestly. But yeah. uh, it was a, it was a good effort. I like the JC shine pressure from Ginger. Yeah, I saw it. Really nice. Could have gone into something big, but um, Jamu Shield did it. And then great slide off on that back air to minimize the. Uh, Minimize the punish. Oh, the shield drop fair was a nice DI mix up, but Ginger was ready for it. Oh, and JMook, yeah, JMook just setting up that bait right there. You know, once you see the light shield on the platform, you kind of have to tomahawk it, especially Sheik's, because you're never going to pierce it. Yeah, Falco has problems against light shield a lot of the time. True. Maybe he could have done like a shine wave dash forward, like a shine wave land forward. Yeah. I think, I think that would have pushed him on. Sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just <laughs> caused that out. I think even Jmook was a little surprised by it because you saw that he didn't really have anything afterwards. Right. Beautiful nice needles. Goal. Damn, his needle placement has been so on point all tournament. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to sneak in with a grab. Get some damage with needles, which is really important because it means Fair can knock down and stuff sooner. Yeah, oh, that was such a good slide off from Jmook. I think he might have even... SDI to the right, at the very minimum, ASDI. You know, he he recognized, like, he doesn't want to land on this platform. And now, uh, Ginger with a big screw up. Oh, but Jmook light shields, and that causes yeah. him to uh, get pushed out of shield uh, shield grab range. And then really nice ledge hop, um, ledge hop bear from Ginger. He had full ledge intangibility there, so uh, no dice for Jmook trying to intercept that. 
Yeah, and it was actually also really smart because he saw that Jmook had turned around with the needles and was going to try and do something tricky with a back air or a wall jump or something. But when you're doing that, you're not threatening being able to grab the ledge. So Ginger was just able to do that there, like, pretty yeah. with impunity. Wow, and Falco died at a very low percent there. Jmook's actually back in this game off of that opening. Okay, but Ginger... Oh, no, just... oh, gets a grab. This is really big. Jab reset. Falco's at knockdown percent now. Off stage. <sighs> Charges the needles a little bit. Oh, forced to roll. He goes in with the down smash. <gasps> the dash attack. Sneaks in. Oh, but it still feels like all ginger right now. Was that... Oh, was that down tilt that he caught him with? Oh, let's go. He has a, an amazing recovery. Dash attack? Slide Sli off. Oh, no. Such a good slide off. Oh, 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 that's gonna do it! Oh my god, what a recovery from Ginger there to manage oh, to man. keep it together in the 11th hour. Games, yeah, games three and four of that set going absolutely down to the wire. Um, really, all it took was one interaction to go the other way, and that could have been Jmook's set. What an impressive showing, though, from both players. Like, that was actually a really, really high level set that we just saw. Oh, I agree. I feel like Ginger showed so much knowledge in the matchup. And and really, when things were starting to get out of hand, Ginger did his best to slow the matchup down, to start doing these drift back aerials as he was approaching to shoot drifting back lasers and stuff. Because it, he's, he was really saying, listen, Jamuk, you've been real good at uh, 